Guys, subscribe and turn notifications on, leave a like and drop a comment down below. Get here first and win giveaway codes I will pin as first comment on some of my videos. Be fast and good luck. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today we're going to check out some of the new exotics coming with Season 5 and a Black Armory DLC. But before we go any further guys, if you do enjoy the video and would like to show your support, you can by hitting that like button. And if you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so the latest update has landed and with it some great new additions. But I have a massive video full of everything you need to know about the DLC and this update coming later today. Today I want to concentrate on the new exotics coming with this expansion next week. There are five of them in total. Four new ones, an old classic which many will be excited about. And these are weapons by the way, no armors have been confirmed as of yet. So let's get into it. Firstly to mention there are three families involved with the Black Armory and I believe we'll get one exotic made via each. Well that's what it comes across to me anyway. We developed these special weapons that from founders we haven't seen before, all coming from the Norse and Japanese and French family lines. There's three families that were involved in the Black Armory. You can definitely feel the theming in those weapons and the backstories and how they came to be and the, the roles that they perform. The first one is the Izunagi's Burden, which is a sniper rifle. This thing looks to be an absolute monster, capable of one-shotting any guardian to the body. This weapon has four bullets in its clip, but holding down that reload button, it stacks all four bullets into a single shot to give significant extra damage and range. Again guys, capable of shooting you to the body and killing you with one hit. This weapon will be able to compete with a sleeper and a whisper of the worm. Sounds good. No doubt as well, this will be the weapon of the Japanese family associated with the Black Armour DLC. Izanagi's Burden is the crazy sniper rifle where you have a magazine of four rounds and if you do the special reload, it actually crams all four bullets into a single round that does damage. That is brutal and will like totally compete with whisper and sleeper. It's a sniper rifle that can body shot an enemy. Next up we have a weapon from the French family. It's a bow and it's called the Le Marquis, I believe that's not how it's pronounced, but hey. This exotic bow, Bungie states, has a fawn feel to it. Its intrinsic perk reads, on a perfect draw, a hit target receives damage over time. On a perfect draw with precision hit, all enemies in the void cloud receive damage over time. And we see a bit of this exotic void bow within the Redock. Check out this action right here. The bow is from the fringe family. It's beautiful. It feels a little thorny in it's the way it thorny, plays. Yeah. If you like thorn from Destiny 1, you're gonna love this bow. Next up we have the Anarchy. This is a fallen themed grenade launcher and it looks absolute dog's bollocks. Its intrinsic perk is as follows. Grenades stick to enemy surfaces and chain arc bolts to other mines. So if you fire four of these around the same enemy, they would literally fry him alive. I wonder if these chain with teammates' minds too. That would be pretty damn cool. So we've got five new... The next exotic I believe is called the Yotun or Yotun. It's hard to hear exactly how it's pronounced. This is a fusion rifle arm cannon. Sounds absolutely amazing. This fires a giant fireball slug which sets a massive portion of the floor on fire. Damn, and did I forget to mention people, it also attracts your ass. Yotun is the fusion rifle. It goes on your hand. It goes on your hand. It's the arm blaster, as it was affectionately referred to, and it fires a giant fireball slug that will set the ground on fire. And it follows you. And it will, yeah, it will track you down and murder you. It knows and finally, people, the last exotic to discuss is the last word. It, like I've said numerous times in previous videos, this will return. On screen now we can see in game. So the last word, what else do we know about this weapon? Well, we do know via a new roadmap dropped by Bungie that it will come live in game for us to earn via a quest which is coming next year. January 29th to be exact and the exotic quest is called The Draw. So that's pretty cool too. So people, last word fans, it is coming back. 
And guys, those are the exotic weapons we know about so far. Bungie stated only 5 exotics will be coming with this DLC, but as you know, they love to hide things in the game too. But we will see people, we will see. But guys, those are the 5 exotics coming with the Black Armour DLC we know about so far, weapon wise. And on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos like guides, top 5s, gameplays, reviews, just about everything, make sure you subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video, turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But again, thanks for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand.